What's going on guys? Today we got a Science Channel McFarland episode for you. But before we get to the action, a portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass. LastPass relieves the burden of remembering your passwords. Stop getting locked out of your accounts and let LastPass fill your usernames and passwords for you. With LastPass, you don't have to write down, remember, or reset your passwords. LastPass keeps track of all of them so you can stay sane. Put your passwords on autopilot with LastPass. LastPass auto fills your credentials on mobile sites and apps for iOS and Android. When you open an app or site, LastPass is there for you. It pops in your username and password and you're good to go, making it fast and easy for you to log in. And not to mention with LastPass, you get unlimited password storage and free cross-device syncing. Please guys, after this video, check out LastPass using the links below. That's going to do it for LastPass's sponsored portion of this video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. Oh, oh damn, we are out here. I don't know if I'm about to perform heart surgery or cook you some, some ragu spaghetti or something. I don't know, but whole. you guys look good. Uh, damn, we got Dr. Spray them all, certified ripper, bog date with Clayton. Guys, today we got a Science Channel episode for you. All right, guys, how do. Oh, hey. Not damaging my. Hey, hey. Wow, leave my rap alone, dude. Do not push down. All right, listen, guys. We have we got to break some news to you. We decided as a team that we are not going to repair the black Mustang. Well, maybe one day do something with it. But for now, we are not swapping in another junky 4.6 liter V8 into it that James blew up with a freaking nitrous bottle. Just kidding, it was kind of all of our fault. Uh, he is Dr. Spray them all. And also check out the lab coats, they're pretty freaking fresh, but the Mustang, it would cost more to buy an engine and then the labor to, to put the new engine in, it would cost literally more than what we bought that Mustang for. So we'll leave it out there, the Booster Boys can come in town, swap it or something. For now, we got ourselves a new science Mustang, which, you know, honestly, these things are perfect for what we're doing. They got a V8, they're stick shift, and they're cheap as hell. So, and this one has a carbon fibre wing. Yeah, James, can you tell us about the car? I know we got Flowmasters. Right. So, what other here, mods we got? This here is a 96 Mustang GT. Yep. Don't get fooled by the Cobra parts, and it's not a Cobra, but has the <laughs> Cobra tail lights, wings, hood, <laughs> interior. Got the Cobra artificial wheels. Are, these are OEM taillights. Yeah, but they're the but they're Cobra they're tail Cobra taillights. Cobra wing. Cobra carbon Cobra wing. Bumper. Cobra bumper. Cobra interior. Cobra interior. Custom flame arm shift knob. Yeah, that's that pretty. Case? Plus they're Cobra too. This one know. came with the head unit. It's got a, oh yeah, this one's this got a stereo. This one came with the head unit. Yeah, so this one's. We can listen to music. I know, the black one, no stereo, no AC music. It works, but it develops a misfire when you turn it on, so you just leave it off. Oh, well that's fine. And I didn't uh, know. I actually didn't know about that, but that's cool. We got hey, we got fresh Nittos. Yeah, we got our, our, our boys over at Nitto. We we're even repping you in our science lab. Yeah, we actually, we, we didn't like put them on, but we, we got them with it. We this car because of the Nittos, no other reason. Yeah, pop the hood, Coop. Dr. Cooper. That sounds so official, Dr. Cooper. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got up here. Don't mind up here with our JDM stitch mod. It yeah, came, now guys, it came that way. It was in a small crash, all right? With so, a wall. Let's not At hate. Low speed. It did hit a wall. It hit a wall, and then I guess it was backed into. But we got the zip tie repair mod looking sick. But this is the Cobra bumper. You can see how it's got like the fog light deals down there. Yeah, it is serious. And then under here, not as clean as the last science project. <laughs> Surprisingly, though, because it has almost eighty thousand miles less than the last one. But it's well, it's a little dirty. And it's rusty a little dirtier. Here, so, but it does have a colder intake. Mm -hmm an upgraded professional products power throttle body <laughs> that just sounds fast it's got this here strut tower brace mm -hmm. it also and bolts into the firewall which is impressive that's well that's where all the integrity's at yeah so it's got a fresh transmission it's got a Exeti stage two clutch it's got a fresh clutch cable it's already <laughs> on the dyno and i worry the next time it'll be that's off the dyno i'll be pushing it listen that's up to us you and me no garden hoses and no nitrous bottles for you today. Give, give me that nitrous French, James. Look at all these zip ties. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got this custom zip okay, tie yeah. on. Let's, be, let's just be real with them. This thing was in a serious accident and band-aided and given to well, us. If you go over a bump, it sounds like you're basically crashing. This thing was definitely Bo Duke hazard over a, a jump at one point in time. And it's no like doubt. This. 
If you look no at doubt, this, you can see there's scrapage on the bottom of just this. I mean, this thing, yeah. If you look, if you look at this particular front wheel, yeah. Doctor oh, Cooper, Doctor Cooper, step aside. Take a peek at that little. Oh, hole. she's got. Oh, yeah. it's like this. And it's factory ride height, factory suspension. Oh wow, it's like, pigeon toed. You know what's yeah. nice about this? <laughs> one? That's something we should probably just. This fix. one was green, and then it was plastic to black, kind of like how the other one was red and then black. Is this Plasti Dip? There's Plasti Dip black under the gray. Oh, no. no. I think the Plasti Dip was to I think, do yeah. the jams. I think they no, Plasti Dip the engine bay. Maybe, but... But guys, the best part about all this is if you peel this wrap off, there is a beautiful green underneath that you just can't find anymore in this year. <laughs> Big selling point. Big selling point. When I heard that, I was like, we'll take it. Now, on to what we're doing in today's video. The guys have a little bit of an idea of what it is, but I'm gonna go get them so we can really show it off because I'm excited about the new products I purchased to make my new science vehicle fast as can be. All right, James, come on up here. Wow, that looks really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, you guys be ready. Even Jeremy, you can come even though you don't have a lab coat and we're trying to make things more official around here, we'll let you in. Okay. This is a lab coat situation. Last time, you have to stand like a doctor. After they wash their hands, you can't. Yeah, your hands look freshly washed. <laughs> they do look really clean. <laughs> after you wash them, you, gotta, you can't touch anything. Okay, so after the last science video, you guys got mad at me because I didn't buy an electric version of that stupid F1Z thing, which did not work. What did we lose, like 10 horsepower or something? Yeah, I told well, you it wasn't gonna work, Jeremy. Gosh. I stepped up, because I, what, I spent 60 bucks on that one or something? It's yeah, some, a lot of money. $38. It was a lot for what it was. This one. I spent $400 on this. It took almost a month from China. I'm actually excited about this one. I was hoping the box would be a lot bigger. This is the Mac Daddy of electric superchargers on eBay. Super excited about it. I didn't open it, so we're about to do it right now. Is this built to order? I, I think it, <laughs> I thought there was gonna be like an FBI investigation after this thing showed up. <laughs> Dude, this thing looks like it. I mean, oh, wait till you see this box. This one came me. with dino graphs. It's, it's that serious. Yeah, so, hang tight. Oh, wow. This, this is, is the awesome. best of the best, okay? I'm I already did, pumped up. Look, there's a dino graph on the freaking side. I did spare no expense for you guys. Goodness. It better not be <laughs> it a water looks like pump. a water pump. It better be an air pump, brother. <laughs> look at that thing. James, can you oh, read the doctor? RSMTX, I see. You want me to read the doctor language for you? Too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, this thing is sick. Oh, it's not even a super. Is that a black hole? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a Wait category a second. five hurricane. I thought experience. I was buying an electric supercharger. This is an electric turbo. What? Wow, look at this graph here. Oh. Magnetic motor, gain power, and gain power, more house power, <laughs> more torque, easy and fast installation. <laughs> this is the best purchase of my life. More house. Oh my <laughs> God. Explain to me how much a house power is. More house, James. <laughs> Jeremy, you're a tuner. How much is one house power? It's more than a horsepower. Clearly. <laughs> Sir, I like to gain some more house power. Hold on. Tell me how How I much does a horse this? weigh? Uh, 2,000 pounds? How much does a house weigh? Way more. <laughs> this is, you've never I'm, I just can't believe they ma the nailed the word thing. torque and installation, but they got house wrong. God, like, <laughs> dang, dude. Yeah, it's a horse house. Like, Listen, <laughs> I'm starting to doubt this thing a little bit. Is this supposed Doubted. to be 12 volts or 5 volts? What are we oh, looking at here? 6 volt reference. It says ah. it in Chinese. Oh. Oh, we got to turn it to 12 or 18 then. It's going to be on 12. Oh, I mean. we're hooking a little booster pump to this thing. <laughs> for maximum electric turbo power. So do you want to give everybody your coupon code so they can go out and buy one real quick? <laughs> oh, this thing is unreal. Wow. Air filter, flow controller, electric turbo. How that goes in line, we're gonna have to find out. Throttle body engine. <laughs> it's that James, easy. This here RS, <laughs> RS MTX. This is a winner. Oh, oh ho, ho. this is sick. Wow, that thing's nice. This was 100% worth the money. This was worth it right here. Wow. Hell, what no, is that? Four zip ties? I want to hold it in my hands. Five zip ties. All right. 
<laughs> Everyone be careful because this thing took a damn month to get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure their warranty process is fantastic. This thing is sick. <laughs> There's a wire. Look, it's a three pin. One wire can go to a signal wire like your TPS to where it only spins when you're giving it gas. It's got a speed controller. <laughs> Yeah, is that on it? Blue line I don't know. It is <laughs> covered in some sort of lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, it smells like WD 40. That's like good. assembly. Though. Thanks, doctor. Oh, oh! Wow. Is that a six blade? Woo! Seven. Seven blade. blade. Is that a bullseye turbo? What do I think? Dude, ball that bearing? is serious. Uh, Just dual ball bearing? You got to fire it up. I mean, they ain't playing. I, this is exactly what I expected in that box. Maybe it's a smidge bigger, but I'm excited regardless. If it was like 40 bucks, I'd buy two for the F1 Smokums. Dude, F-150 would basically be a Raptor. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. V8 Raptor. V8 Raptor for... Oh. All right, hold out. Wire loom. Plastic. For the clean install. Fine. Couple of uh, butt connectors. Couple of butt connectors. This is the important. Oh, oh it does have a does speed have controller. Wow, speed that thing's serious. You need this thing wide open all the time. Yeah, yeah. speed controller. Is that a built-in booster pump? Doctor spray them all. That might be the built-in booster pump. I gotta say, guys, on the RS MTX overall first opinion, 12 out of 10. This, I... Unboxing. <laughs> Kind of wire. We gotta go into this thing, dude. Oh, it's, wow. it's, it's like, is this rope or is this wire? Yeah. Wait, is this a poster? Oh, 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 Come on, why didn't we open this? this? I got this. Oh. 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 Let me see. The what video. motor you're is missing, that hooked up to? You're missing the best. Look at this backside. It's Some got sort a collage. Of it's got a collage. Oh man, of happy customers. <laughs> I think that's your car, Jeremy. Is that the Miata? Uh. Oh, look at this wire install. <laughs> They're bragging about that. <laughs> Very straightforward install. They took like the most clapped out cars they could find. <laughs> I'm sure they just went to the junkyard because it's two dollars. Look at how they wired to the look what at this. this. What is this it's... dongle coming off the mask? What is Oh it? wow. <laughs> that is not a safe install in any way. Don't do this. Ten out of ten at follow instructions. <laughs> don't don't do that. Twelve out of ten. Like look at this one down here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready? Ready as I will ever be. I will n literally never be more ready than right now. Imagine this thing just freaking rips. Hold on, what does that dyno graph say for power gains? Uh, 39 horsepower. House well, no, 88. No, 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 no. How that's, much? Well, that's, that's overall power. Max, 39.3. Well, first of all. Oh, they're just blips in the dyno yeah. graph. <laughs> okay, is that is that blue line with the electric turbo? Yeah, but that also says after hydrogen. Yeah, it says. Look at that. What is this hydrogen? Hold on, wait a second. This is, this is in house power. Oh yeah, <laughs> God, it's way more than one. Okay, I don't this know how easily is. eight thousand horsepower. What kind of house are we talking here? This is a serious amount of horsepower if I've ever seen. All right, now you plug in, dude. And when if you ready. fry this thing, I' I'm gonna be pissed if I have to call China and get a new one. Of these. <laughs> Overnight one. I have to overnight them from Japan. Okay, I've got a tough grip. Oh! Wow! Good lord! I didn't want to stand yeah. anywhere near that oh thing. Oh my god, get closer. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's gonna suck the camera in. Oh, that's actually... Dude, it's, okay. It sounds like a hair dryer. It does. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? But hold it doesn't on, make hot on. air, James. Is anybody impressed by how much that... Yeah. That was noises. more than I thought. It was of. just starting to spool up. We're calling this all an right. electric supercharger with the noises it Okay, makes. all right. Spool this thing up. Can we get like a piece of paper to show there. the flap fact? Yeah, there. Here. I got you. Ready? Use this thing. I'm show like oh, here, the flapping. Here, yeah, yeah, here we go. Ready, everyone? Ah. That thing is blowing some air. Oh, wow. That actually is... Yeah, but that's got the volume. Oh! oh. <laughs> this thing ain't quiet. Wow, I am not disappointed with my purchase at all. You almost Light lost off. a finger right there, dude. All right, let's get a baseline on this thing. Bad hand, don't worry. Okay, we gotta get the Mustang on the dyno, guys. Get a baseline number so we know how much power this thing makes without a massive amount of boost flowing through its veins. And then we'll put a massive amount of maybe one PS. Maybe one PSI? Uh, you think? Uh, Jeremy's nodding it. no. Okay, so you don't think that's one we're gonna find out what you get for 400 bucks today with this electric turbo. Safety glasses ready? Yep. Thank goodness. 
All right, folks, so with any scientific test, there needs to be a controlled run. And right now we're gonna do a baseline pull with the Mustang exactly how we got it. We got it warmed up, so there's no other variables later when we have the electric turbo on it. This it basically just gives us our baseline and tells us if we improved or lost power later through the freaking electric house power turbo. The last Mustang we had made about 200 horsepower. Let's see what the gray thing can do. The scientific process, you need a control, you yep. need a base, you need a hypothesis, and then you need a My conclusion, right? is that it's gonna make, don't forget the flux capacitor. Oh, James, come on. I wouldn't forget so, that. Oh, she looks good. Sixty-seven horsepower is our baseline. Should I do one more? Just so verify just that. Ver Let's verify it real quick. This is a science. I mean, you must really love this gray Mustang, man. You're not letting them tease out of your sight. Yeah. Oh. Ready? No. Nope. Scared. Right, rip it. <laughs> Floor it. Picked up some power. Two horsepower. Two horsepower, Jeremy. That's pretty standard right there. Second to old make no horsepower more, it gets a little hot. Yeah, there you go. I All mean, right. you're in this. So our average, so we're going with our average power, baseline 168 horsepower. Not to be mistaken for house power. 168 horsepower. Well, it doesn't say horsepower. It might be house power. I don't know. If that was house power, the dyno would have flown out of the shop. All right, guys. Are you ready? Freaking ready. Let's go over what we got here. So we're wired up. See the controller is sitting here. This is a little sketchy, but it's installed. Okay. All right, so you ready? Take this here, blue wire. I'm gonna press it on to the positive there. Building up some back pressure. Building some serious pressure in there. We're about to do this, boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we had 168 horsepower average on our first two pulls. We're gonna do two pulls on this with the electric turbo. My guess is, see, here's the thing. This pipe is bigger. That's about the same, but it's not gonna be able to, it's tough, honestly. So I, I can really not guess on this one. This one's hard. I knew that F1Z one was gonna be less, but this, I'm thinking it's gonna make 100, and 74. We're gonna pick up six horsepower. Mm. Damn. Still right. with the 10 horsepower loss. Yeah. 10 horsepower loss! Jeremy? <laughs> I like your style right Well, now. because the air restriction, I don't yeah. think it's gonna be able to suck okay. enough air. What do you think? I'd say five horsepower. Five horsepower loss in Cooper? I think about eight gain. I wanna, yeah. I wanna see a gain. Team gain. I really wanna see a gain, but yeah. I'm a little. <laughs> six gain, eight gain. 10 loss, five loss. Losers buying lunch. Whoever's the furthest away is buying lunch tomorrow. All right. Are you gonna hit this like right when I start doing the pull? Once you start accelerating, I'm gonna. Okay. Once I see sampling on the bottom of the screen, I'm whacking this game. Okay. So right when I start doing the pull, James is gonna hit the power. We're making it right in our mid range, so that'll give it plenty of time to spool up. You don't wanna pre spool it? It's gonna have instant I mean, spool. It's got instant spool. It doesn't spin that fast, so it, <laughs> All right, let's make some house power, boys. Woo! House power. It's got full wow. spool in about 13 milliseconds. Wow. Hear me. You impressed? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, that well. Much wow, well, little enthusiasm. That thing comes here. apart and ruins my new grace thing. I'm going to be pissed. Uh oh. All right, folks. Let's 
spinning it yet. Instructions that say 38 horsepower. I think that was for the loss, not for the game. You gotta be kidding me. It literally lost 33 horsepower. Damn, that's a shame. Listen, <laughs> we have to do a second pull. Back to back it. Because this could have been a fluke pull. Look at the difference in the fueling. <laughs> it out because it was, it was much richer on that pull. Oh, yeah, it didn't have as much air. Yeah, the air was. <laughs> James, are you sure you had that thing oh, on? I had it. I had it on. Yeah, he had it on, and I was scared. I was moving away. Get a little preschool going. It's still spinning. I know. It was. Go, go, go. That's just because it did a little blip up there. Yeah, what was that little hiccup? Is that you letting off? No, it was you letting off and me staying on. Oh. <laughs> That's so, it. There you have it, folks. Don't modify your vehicle. They make less power. <laughs> That's how, that literally just how Don't it works. Don't put electric turbos on your vehicle. This, all right, so guys, listen. 10 out of 10 would not recommend this electric turbo, but uh, you know, someone had to test it. Someone had to drop the 400 bucks to make this happen. Take your 400 bucks That's our team. Six months of car insurance. I think we yeah. have a smaller motor. <laughs> a smaller motor we might need a notice. A four-cylinder or something, maybe even less. Yeah, you know what we can do? That could be true. That could be designed for a four-banger. Pit Ripper. Yeah, but it doesn't even have a 12-volt system on that thing. Yeah. We can no. just have a battery. <laughs> you just need a battery. You can put it on the pit bike, but this car just might, you know, this engine just sucks so much air that that thing is so puny. Perhaps on a very small engine, it could pick up, but it has to be a very small engine. All right, guys, that's another day here at the McFarland Science Channel. Today, we've had a failure. The electric turbo is not the ticket. That thing will not gain you horsepower. So far, we haven't had an episode where we've gained power. Oh, with nitrous. Well, with nitrous, yeah, well, James, of course. That's a proven well, system. <laughs> when we had air and nitrous, we gained power. Yeah, the whole garden hose nitrous. Eh. Still, yeah. still they're pretty Running good. Running a motor on pure nitrous will melt this. It will melt it. So, fat. listen guys, we made some power today. We lost some power with our aftermarket uh, things we purchased off the internet. So far, we're 0 for 2. If someone has something that will make power, send it to us and we will test it here on the McFarland Science Channel. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.